part two. Uh, you guys know why. I'm sick and sick and tired of this storage thing. But, um, so, yeah, like I said, he said that. He said, is that okay? Um, you know, because people had a pretty pity, you know, they sacrificed the way they did in order to get that. Is it okay if I have you in the back? Uh, I said, okay. I mean, he invited, invited me here. It was like, to tell me I was going to be in the back. And then it's like, and then to you, is it was his event. And I was just like, whatever. And I'm like, cause when I was out in the car, he waited till I got into the car to say that. So I'm like, whatever. I think what I had on didn't look awful. It didn't. I know that it was just some some uh cat like cat tan colored pants, uh black shirt, black long sleeve button down, and then some black and white shoes, the Nikes. Um, and uh, but the thing is, we want the fact that he even said that. But the thing is, when I got there. The seats were already taken up. He would make sure to get in there first before they, you could, I could even get in there. So it was just like, whatever. But it was just kind of like, with us, you know, when you go through the narcissism, you know, you, you know you're know, looking for a change, looking to be saved, like, like how to do this. So, because I was, I was already staying with my biological father. I'm leaving the devil's playground, so so called devil's playground, so so. I'm not in the same room as him, but it's like, man's gotta leave. So, this is a lot. Uh, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. I'm trying to figure this out, I'm trying to figure this out. I just don't even know. Um, Anyways, right here, look. I'm not even supposed to be here that long. I'm just coming in the context and thinking, like, how oh, I got to be out of here. Because nah, I got something else coming up. It's supposed to be. And I was like, nigga, that's not, you're not supposed to be here this long. That wasn't a plan. Anyways, so let me finish with the story. Uh, The thing is, the thing is, I had, uh, so when I finally got there, you know, there were people who already knew about me, and it was like, and I met them, I was like, oh, you must be, I'm like, how do you know? And he was like, oh, yeah, I've heard, we're talking about you. And I was just like, what the frick? So this is the MLM, multi-level market. And one thing I didn't get to point, to point out in the last video, I am not bashing multi-level marketing. This is not a multi-level marketing bashing. I think it's great to be in a group around people who want to succeed, and they want to excel in life, financial wise, knowledge wise. I think it's great, but I'm speaking on my experience. Okay, so then when I got there, you know, when I got there, it was a bunch. I realized that it was kind of like to the point where like they were selling things. Oh, I'm sorry with this with the speech too. I noticed. But the speech he's used, what I said, because instead of him saying like, oh, it varies, is 50% or whatever, he said it was 60%. He even wrote it on his script that it was 50%, I think, 50% in the voice rate. That's a coin toss. And even on, but I said it was 60, and I think he said 60. But regardless, he was precursing me for what he was going to say, his script. And thing is, he added his script based on what I said. A lot of things what I said. But he's speaking this in front of a large group of people. You know, one of those hotel rooms, they do, those hotel conference areas they rent out. So. Here's the deal. Uh, <laughs> still, still get in this car. Whatever, I'll get better. Still, 
was thinking about uh, fasting again. You know, that's one thing, but it's just like, hey, uh, part of the reason I did get tired of my mouth getting dry, especially when I get on camera because of the fast, but hey. Um, here's this. Real talk, like, it's like this. You know, my biological father didn't like it, but he, he doesn't like anything. Like, grope why? Because he was like, why didn't he answer your question? Because when I was doing video calls at that, when I was back in my back at the place, uh, he's over there looking through the camera, trying to act like he not looking. I got a bitch. Uh, and he always has to put his input when I didn't ask him. I don't talk to this male. So, that, that was that. But uh, as far as, you know, him talking and whatnot, when I went there, there was people who I already... No, oh, you must have him. Okay, I've heard about you, did it? So he's telling him about me, and that's just like weird. And I noticed one thing too. I remember because you know the food that we, you guys see the recipes we post, the cooking that we do. That's the type of food we actually eat. You hear me? So alkaline electric base. Um, that's that. It's a diet where you can't, you know, it's a diet where you can't just eat anything. You know, you, you eat the righteous fruits. Things that are made by nature. So when I was there, there was this elderly looking female. And uh pale European female. She was like, she was like, oh, she's like, hair, hey, you have a you want a bar, you wanna try this? And I said, No, I'm sorry, I can't have that. And she's like, Okay, here, how about and I said, I'm sorry, I can't have and she's like she's like, she's like, she's like uh, fine. she got an attitude. And I saw that. I said it as politely as I could be, but that bitch got an attitude because I wouldn't accept her little chocolate bar. Her little chocolate, whatever, whatever the hell, nuts or something in it was in there, granola type bull crap, whatever that was in there. She was mad that I would accept it. I was like, what the frick? Like, that's an elderly bitch acting like that. Bitch, you have no knowledge. I'm like, bitch, you couldn't even hide it at all. And then here's the thing. When we were there, they were, apparently they were giving out awards because they got like different people who go platinum, get their gold point, da da this, and they get passive income check or something for the multi level marketing type of thing. Uh, and uh, she's like, and apparently she got she's the one that got the award. And this is what she said in her speech. I hope this the memory doesn't cut out. She said, Well, she said, Well, the thing is, people was like, you know, you have to join this group. You know, join this group, this MLF, whatever. And the thing is, there's a bunch of young people that don't have parents. They have all for parents, and you could be their parents. So just be their mom, and you can you can do this, and you can get. And she's like, well, yeah, that's, that's what I did. And I was just like, what the frick? She said that in front of the whole room of people. And I was like, how narcissistic is that? How freaking narcissistic is that? You're not really passionate about people. You just know these people are vulnerable and they've been hurt. And you're looking for them, looking to, in order to be a leader. This is why they pri strive so long, much on the young people. This is why they strive so much on the young people. One, and it's kind of like, because the old person, they can be set in their old ass ways. So old people just be losers because they lose it. And old means dead. Don't eat that food. It's, it's old. It's dead. It's not fresh. So they're prying on the on the youth in order to get their job done. So that's why you got, and there's people too, and I noticed on this MLM, like, they're like, like it's a bunch of they award people who sell the most of the product and get the most points. And I'm like, wait, so this is selling? So this is like a sales team. That's what it is. And you have to pay to join it. What the frick? Pay to get a sales job. And I'm not against selling because we do sell products on our, shop, on our site, healing slash shop. 
We have new consultations through DM and our, and our Instagram at Healing Through Inspiration. I'm not saying that, but it was just like, they're trying to make it like this, informational based. And I feel like, too, they award the people who sell the most or whatever. And then if you sell the most, then you get to meet this guy who they ingrained in your head for the longest time. He was successful and did that. If you get enough points, and it was just kind of like some sub-seeking, approval-seeking type of behavior thing. And I was just like, what the frick? So I'm like, really like some mafia like media type stuff so like if you do enough you can meet this i'm like but it's like oh don't they need to say they said to the people don't get discouraged if you didn't reach the amount of points and, it, and i'm like they're selling all they're doing is selling the friends and family i'm like you're on a sales team and i'm like i said i'm not against selling everything is selling to be real with you um but it's just like you're just selling this company's products for them and it's not for <coughs> hold up Cole's getting to me but it's like with this they're like sell it and I think you guys are probably wondering with MLM I'm trying to remember the name I'm trying to remember the MLM name hmm but then it's just like Sue was like and it was just like, wow, they're lifting the people up who reached them out of selling points in order to sell it. But those that didn't, and it's kind of like, so they're going around to people trying to sell these products or whatever. And it's just like, and then two, I, I, I told them, one of the things I always told them, because my culture, my beliefs, as far as to me being a health coach, I'm not going to sell people health coach products that I I don't recommend, that I wouldn't use or that I wouldn't.